well, we made it. Hi friends, my name is Eric. For the last 10 years, my girlfriend Paula and I have been professional triathletes, racing around the world, fighting to live our dream, and sharing the journey as much as we can. We wanted to take you to Mexico with us for 70.3 Los Cabos to show you our favorite spots and how to handle this unique race. Here we go. That was the most intense airport, rental car, anything experience I've ever had. We were just in the customs line for like an hour. We kind of discovered last time we were down here, a lot of you can rent a car online for like $2 a day. You get to the rental car place and they add on like an additional $30 a day for like, oh, you have sunglasses on, that'll be $10 a day. Oh, you have an American driver's license, that'll be $30 a day. Stand in line for another 20, 30 minutes and get our sweet van, which is literally a work van. This one was having none of it. We declined and now we are inside of a sweet little Volkswagen something or another, I don't know. Now, I was gonna like, you know, have some sort of a tip about doing the rental car thing, because taxis are pretty expensive down here too, but um, that, was, that was gnarly. We were gonna go swimming and now we are just trying to get to our Airbnb before the sweet person who's waiting for us goes home for the night. Okay, that was seriously the coolest swim I've ever done. It's totally dark now. I got like two shots before we jumped in the water. So pumped. My man Sergio, Sergio Sarmiento lives down here, built this pool for everybody who lives down here, so they can have a swimming pool. Sergio, you're a legend. This place is awesome. Definitely gonna be back tomorrow. All right, I figured I can give you just a little bit of training while we're here, even though it's, we're all about having fun. Headed out, just two days before the race. This is uh, Friday, and I'm going to do a bunch of 30 second pickups. A little bit of warm up, 30 second pickups on the run course. Just shaking it out. So my job is to be out here getting some shots of Eric, but I'm not very good with the camera and the driving here is really scary, so I am having a hard time filming him while driving. That's probably not a good idea anywhere in the world, but especially in Mexico. <laughs> so I pulled over, gonna get some run-by shots instead. I think that's a little bit safer. What running shorts are those? Uh, these are the newly developed Castelli Fusions with optional straps if you choose to ride bikes. <laughs> I pack. I pack well. We 
I got, that was like six of eight, and I'll just do two on the way back. Oh, feels good. Oh, I hope we have the wind on race day. Feels so nice. Off to the bike shop to get a crack pipe because Eric forgot his crack pipe. Always pack a crack pipe or maybe two even. We get some coffee. And what else? Coffee and co swimming. And riding the bike. But what are we going to the bike shop for? Crack pipe. I got a new disc and my old disc I can inflate without a crack pipe. New disc cannot inflate without a crack pipe, so. All right, we are at L Wine Shop. Our favorite, number one recommendation for coffee in San Jose del Cabo. You're welcome. Oh, that was amazing. The reason that we love a wine shop, they have the best, they've got amazing beans, amazing machine. Like the atmosphere inside of there is awesome. We just hang out for days. They got a bunch of board games owned by someone from the States. We met her last year and she's just like set up shop down here and it's so cool. So um, we're gonna leave, I'm making a map of all the places that we like to go down here, Google map, and uh, we'll have a link to it in the description. So check that out. To the pool. All right, we're back at Sergio's pool. Blue Lane swimming. Uh, I don't have a swim. Paula's got one though. I'm going to set up a trainer in their awesome little gym space, and uh, she's going to do a swim. This place is freaking amazing. essential for coming and doing this race. You just cannot ride up and down the highway. I have to explain this because it's going to look ridiculous. But it's really hot here. There's no airflow. I don't have a fan. So I'm riding in a speedo. It is what it is. Maximum ventilation. All right, here we go. This is your route. You go to the pool to swim or do the trainer thing like I just did, and then you go to Fresca. It's just on your left as you head back into town. Most important thing that we're getting here is water. If you're staying in a hotel, a lot of the hotels may have purified water systems. You just want to ask them. Our Airbnb does not have a purified water system, so we're getting bottled water. And some desserts. And some Mexican desserts. Only the essentials. Fresco was recommended to us by Sergio Sarmiento, the guy who owns the pool, and uh, he's a local. He said this is the grocery store you want to go to. Now here's how the Mexican bakery works. You grab yourself a set of tongs and a tray, and you walk around, you pick up the desserts you want, bring it up to the counter, they weigh them, count them, tell you how much you owe, and then you get out of there. We've been to a Mexican bakery in Troutdale, near where we live, and it works exactly the same way. And we're actually pretty stoked to see that's how it works down here, because we know the bakery back home is authentico. We are making vegan fajitas tonight, not because we're vegan, just because um, I don't entirely trust meat down here. My job is to go get an onion. 
and the pepper. Another thing to remember that goes along with that water thing is if you wash your vegetables in the sink, you're giving local water on them, so. Yeah, I think so. Anything that has a skin is good. A skin that can be removed. Okay, also, have you ever seen any tortillas? You're in luck, baby. There is a tortilleria right over there. Tortilleria? A, literally a tortilla assembly line. Tortilleria? Oh no, it's okay. okay. Gracias. All right, everybody. Welcome to the day before the race. This is probably the most difficult part about doing Los Cabos, um, but I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing. So, um, step one, we gotta go drop off run gear. Step one, we drop running shoes, race belt, hat, everything you need for T2, off at T2. I'm just walking to this, we parked the car nearby. You can do all of this without a car. There are shuttles that go from T2 to T1, where the swim is, that's where we're going next. I think it's just kind of slow and cumbersome. The other thing that you can do is you could ride, drop off your run stuff, and then ride all the way to T1, but uh, we'll show you in a minute, like, the highway to get to T1 is pretty gnarly. Uh, when they don't have a shutdown for the race, so personally, I would not recommend that. But it is doable. Transition here is literally in like the, on the street in front of the Hyatt. We got an Airbnb, but. If I was gonna stay somewhere, the Hyatt would be the call. The uh, the buses that take you to the race on race morning actually leave from the Hyatt as well. So, actually all of the host hotels. Just go to one of the host hotels if you got all the dollars. Almost forgot the other great thing about the Hyatt. You're on the same block as El Wine Shop. All right, here we go. Almond milk versus regular milk. This is an almond milk, but this is regular. So the regular is obviously good. Obviously. I like almond milk better, but it's a personal preference. They're both really good. Okay. I think it just depends on what you're into. This is definitely creamier and richer. I mean, the, the consistency is awesome on both, but if you like the creaminess of cream, yeah. it'd be the right milk. Alright, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the pre-race tour. It's now the night before the race. We're eating in. Paul made a delicious dinner. And um, yeah, I think we'll catch up with you guys afterwards for some post-race fun. Good night. Hey everyone, um, the race definitely did not 
go the way that I was hoping, which is a phrase that I hate, but uh, I, I really felt like I prepared in every way that I could. Did a bunch of heat training, felt strong, came off a good race in China, and um, man, I, just, I had absolutely nothing in the race. I couldn't hold my normal race power for more than like two minutes straight without just legs completely burning from <laughs> two miles into the bike. And then I just fully melted down on the run. Um, so anyway, I don't want all the cool stuff that I did this week to go to waste. So I think I will still be putting out this video. Obviously if you're seeing this, I put it out. I still really think Cabo is a really cool place. Don't know if like I personally, if it's the right race for me, um, but if you do well in the heat, 100% recommend coming down here. So I think that's, uh, I'm gonna leave that there. If you guys like the uh, sort of tour, race tour concept, leave a comment below, like the video, just let me know. Cause um, I had some fun showing you guys around. See you next time.